Star Wars Rebel Season 3, Episode Number 4. Ladies and gentlemen, we heard in next week's episode of Rebels, man. Last week's episode. <sighs> Fucking amazing. Maul is back in it. And I hope this is a continuation of that. I don't know if this is specifically a two part. I don't normally see the titles for the episode until after I um, already have watched it or until after I've already, you know, uh, until the point where I'm uploading the video. So I don't know if this is a two parter uh, connected with the last one, but I really hope it is, man. I hope we aren't just picking up somewhere else because the way we fucking ended that, I'm excited to see what it is, dude. Again, like I said at the end of my last reaction, I think. I'm assuming we're talking about Luke and Leia when he said the twins. I know he said two twin sons, but maybe he just misinterpreted it. He said he saw a lot of different planets and stuff like that. And then Maul said he lives. I don't know. That's my guess. But I wouldn't be surprised if I'm wrong and it is somebody else they're talking about. However, like I said, I do hope we are picking up right here so we can see everybody's reaction. And maybe Ezra can fucking elaborate a little bit more on what the fuck he saw, man, because shit, he was super vague about it. I get he said he didn't know some of the places and whatnot, but regardless, I'm super excited to check this one out. So I'm going to stop wasting time, guys. We're going to go ahead. We're going to hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys want to see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. Full reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. But we're going to go ahead. Uh, we're going to hop into this episode. Hey, we heard the supply run to Terralov fail. It gets worse. We lost the entire escort of A-Wings. I have been working on a solution with the help of Fulcrum. A Fulcrum? Ahsoka? Fulcrum's a code name we give to our secret informants. It was Ahsoka's idea. Damn. There are other Fulcrum agents. I wonder who this is then. We've arranged to insert you into a squad of new cadets headed for Sky Strike. AP5 will prepare fake credentials. <laughs> I've done this before, remember? Yeah, and I really was an Imperial cadet once. You'll be identified. Sabine is the least recognizable of all of us. Yep. She really is, Loki. When you think about it, it is like that, man. Because when you think, obviously, Ezra and Kane and two Jedis, everyone's going to recognize them. Hera's the leader of the group, so she's going to be remembered. Zeb is fucking Zeb, so of course everyone's going to know who the fuck he is. But Sabine, she's just another Mandalorian, you know? So she really does blend in the best. Or is the least recognizable, like they said. Only thing is she's got to find the fucking cadets too that want to escape without making it obvious that she's a rebel, you know? Because I'm sure there's people here that are dedicated to the Empire. Whatever you have achieved before means nothing. Here, only the best survive. Prepare yourselves. Bro, wearing all that gear and helmets would be so annoying, I feel like. You can call me Wedge. What's your name, cadet? Wedge. I'm Rhea Tala. Don't break protocol. Rhea Tala. Com numbers only. Four ships coming in at point eight four seven. Uh, I see him. Y wings, heavy shields, and turret guns. Eliminate all targets. Damn, man, we can get down some fun. Three six and two five. Proceed to the transmitted coordinates and destroy the rebel vessel located there. Yes, sir. I think he's impressed with them, man. Destroy the vessel as ordered. But Imperial uh, protocol is to avoid. Destroy the vessel as ordered. Three six. Hold on. New target. Coming in at point one seven. Look out! Damn, dude. Ah! Was that the fucking... Simulation complete. Oh, okay, it was all simulation. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I was a little confused at first. I was like, wait, is this real? Is this not? Some of your cadets are planning to defect to the rebels. Fuck. You have traitors in your midst. I will be conducting a thorough investigation, and you are to extend your full cooperation. Fuck. Of course, when Sabine's here too. This couldn't happen a week ago. My hope is that I may teach you something today. Eh. I feel like Agent Callus might end up helping the rebels after his Zeb episode, and then seeing him kind of get, like, belittled right there. You ever think about getting out? That's not really possible, is it? Maybe more possible than you realize. Okay, we need to leave now. Before the Empire closes in, can you get them ready? I'll talk to them. What's your plan? He's excited as fuck. Damn, man. Okay, shit, my man Wedge. How He's could I be calm, for... huh? Sabine's stuck over there and there's nothing I can do. <sighs> That's right. There's nothing you can do. So nothing you are doing right now is going to help. Exactly. It's a good life message for you guys. Everybody that always constantly stressing and worrying about stuff they can't control. Do you trust her? Of course I trust her. Good. Then trust she'll succeed. 
Exactly, man. That's good life lessons, dude. I love that. It's a hard thing to do, though, it is. It's hard not to stress over stuff, even knowing you don't have control over it. It's hard not to. It's something you gotta learn to do. Three, two, one, lock. This would be pretty crazy. So it's basically like laser tag. Come on, Ezra, where are you? Mm. Yes, sir. Oh, bro, this is all a trap, though. Fuck. Fuck, dude. Oh, I feel like they're not gonna make it out. Cadets, return to base immediately. This is your only warning. Negative command. You're gonna have to come and get us. Fuck, man. The only thing is they don't have anything on their ships, right? Because they're late. They're fake lasers. Oh, shit. Wow, they rigged everybody's fighters, huh? Now, target the rebel transport. Wow, dude, ruthless. Wow, bro, the Empire's ruthless this season, huh? We can't take another hit like that. We're not leaving her behind. Damn, bro. We can't help her if we're dead. Chopper, get us into hyperspace now. Yeah, Kanan's right, man. Dude, this sucks, though. The cadets are going to hate her because Rake got killed, and now they're all going to be captured. Dude, I feel so bad, man. They're going to hate her. Escort these two back to their cell. Sabine and I have a lot to talk about. I think Agent Callus might help her. So proud mm. and tough, I think. We shall see. Sabine came here to get us out. We owe her. We have to try. So what's your plan? At least they don't hate her, man. I thought they were gonna blame her for all this, but she couldn't have known. Go ahead, Sabine. This bro, Sabine would beat this bitch's ass. Come on now. I mean, I guess she probably does have training, but shit, I feel like Sabine would still ultimately win. Damn! Sabine don't need rescuing, shit. Hangar 24 is your best possibility. I knew it. Maybe he's not gonna join them, but he's helping them, man. Why should we trust you? Tell Garazeb Aurelius, we're even. Yeah, damn, because he saved his life. Now he's saving his friend's life. I respect that, man. He's got honor. Okay, I have a new respect for Agent Callus. I know before I talked so much shit about him, I said I'd never like him. I like him. I got respect for him. We knew you'd come through. Ah, oh, never been so happy to hear your voice. Get to the docking port quick. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Poor Rake, man. RIP to Rake, though. You know, shit. Empire definitely seems like they're gonna be ruthless this season. Commander, we heard you're looking for some good pilots. Indeed we are. Welcome to the Rebellion. Tell Zab about Agent Callus, Sabine, you bitch. I wanted to see his reaction, man. I thought she was gonna let him know how they escaped. I thought they were gonna be like, how'd you get out of there? She was gonna be like, Agent Callus helped us. He said, tell Zeb, thank you, or some shit. You know what I mean? Oh, and then would like zoom in on Zeb's face, he's like, then you smile, you know, you know how they've been doing that shit in shows. I know you know what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Star Wars Rebels season three, episode number four is in the books, ladies and gentlemen. What a fucking episode. I'm loving this season so far. The start, it's fantastic, man. It just, it feels like a good fresh direction, you know, like season one was fantastic. Then season two changed the direction and turned it up a notch. Season two was fucking insane. And now season three seems like it's turning direction. I don't know if it's turning up a notch, but it's definitely turning a direction. And I love it, man. You know, we're getting some, we're getting a lot of stuff about the force, you know, and more stuff about the dark side and um, more stuff about Jedi and just everything, you know, learning about the holocrons and the Sith and Jedi holocron, what they do together. It's it, just a lot of lore and I, I love it, man. It's, it's got some insane moments and I love that Maul's around too. Again, I know at the start of this episode, I said I, I was hoping last episode would connect to this one and we'd see more Maul, but... <sighs> I'm assuming Maul is just going to kind of be sprinkled throughout these episodes. I don't think he's going to be a main focus. Because, again, at the end of the day, Rebels is about this group of Rebels. You know, as much as we do love the characters, Anakin, or Vader, Ahsoka, Maul, all these characters that do make their appearances, at the end of the day, this is still Rebels. It's about this Rebel group. So, again, we got to have more episodes focusing on them than, you know, uh, Maul, Ahsoka, everybody else. And they make their special appearances. But, regardless, guys... 
another dope episode is in the books. And quite frankly, man, the more I watch Rebels, the more it's becoming some of my favorite Star Wars shit ever. You know, Clone Wars was fucking amazing, don't get me wrong. I might say I... Dude, see, the thing is, like, with Rebels and Clone Wars, like, I know it's Star Wars at the end of the day, but they're so different. So it's, like, hard to compare and hard to say which one's your favorite. But, like, Rebels Rebels has some fucking insane shit in it. I know, I know Clone Wars did, too, but, like, fuck. That's what I mean, man. They're just two amazing shows, and I feel like they're equally great in their own ways. But, guys... Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, let's see if you guys did enjoy this reaction video. Make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Full reaction will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. You guys want to check that out. Link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.